Welcome to Edney Studios. I am Edney, and in this video, we are going to learn retouching. In this video, we are going to learn dodging and burning, matching the skin tones across the body, and also color grading and a lot more. Stick around to the end of this video because I'll be sharing some secrets to retouching other creators have been told you. Also, if you've not watched the part one of this video, I suggest you go watch that and come back. With all that said, let's get started. So this is the image we are working with. In the previous part, we did blemish removal and frequency separation. Now we are come to even out the skin tone. We are come to use some Photoshop magic to make sure the skin tones are even at each part of the body. To accomplish this, we are going to use the gradient map adjustment layer. So first create the gradient map adjustment layer, invert the layer max. Click here to open the gradient editor. So how this works is that we are come to select the highlights and the shadows of the subject's face and use that as a color scheme for the whole body. So what are we waiting for? Let's do it. Click on the white slider and click on the bright side of the face to select a color for the highlights. Also click on the black slider and this time select a darker part of the face to select the color for the shadows. Click this middle part which we are going to use to select color for the mid-tones. And that is done by selecting the not too bright or too dark parts of the face. Click OK and invert the layer mask. Change the blend mode to color and decrease the opacity to a reasonable amount. Invert the layer mask again and now choose the brush tool. So the effect was applied to the entire image, but the goal was to apply the effect to only the subject's skin. So we are going to find a way to apply it only to the subject's face and nothing else. Let's roll. Select the brush tool and zoom into the image a little for better precision. Use the right square bracket key to increase the brush size. The left is used to decrease. Make sure the foreground color is white and begin to paint on the skin. Make sure you do not paint areas like the subject's eyes, the lips or any jewelry. Also outlining the bodice with a smaller brush size before painting it helps the workflow faster.
After successfully painting on the skin tones, this is what we are getting. Notice the skin tones are more even and better. Next thing, we are going to do some dodging and bending and want to create some contours on the image. This is to help the subjects get the professional look like in the magazines. To create the dodge and bend layers, I will be using my actions I created. You can get them in the description below. After creating the layers, also create a black and white adjustment layer. This layer is created to help us know where to dodge and where to bend. It is very useful and makes knowing where to dodge and bend very easy. Create the white and black layers and drag the reds down. Select the layer mask of the bend layer and make sure the brush tool is selected. Decrease the opacity to 10%. Make sure the white foreground color is selected. Zoom into the photo and start painting. With burning, we are going to paint on the dark parts. Make sure you intermittently hide the black and white layer to see the effect of the burning. Now go to the dodge layer max and also paint on the whiter parts. So with the dodging and burning done, this is something you can do to beautify the image even more. Create two curve adjustment layers. Name one dodge and the other bend. Drag the white slider of the dodge layer to the left. Double click on the right side of the layer to open blending option. Drag the black slider to the right and hold alt and click on the slider to split it. Drag them apart for a smoother transitioning. This we've done in the blending option is to remove the effects from the shadows. Decrease the opacity a little and invert the layer mask. Make sure the brush tool is selected with 100% opacity and paint on the bright parts of the face.
go to the bend layer and this time drag the black slider to the right. Open the blending option and drag the white slider to the left. Hold Alt and click on the slider to split it. Drag them apart to create a smoother transitioning. This in blending option removes the effects from the bright areas. Invert the layer and paint on the dark parts of the skin. At this point, I'm removing all the spilled painting that are on the hair. And also that is done using the black foreground color. Decrease the opacity of the effect if it's too much. I mostly group my layers to make them organized and also this is done by using Ctrl G. So this is before the skin glow magic and this is after. We are going to do eye retouching, color grading and hair retouching in the next part. And if you want to know how to do frequency separation, this is the video to watch. I am Edney and I'm out.